You peace bear. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, cute. Birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Why would I shake it? I don't know. I'm thinking like. Are you recording? Why yeah. Are you recording? <laughs> yeah that going on here. All right. This is the balloon choke. It's not a full beard, but it's almost. Full. <laughs> <All right>. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you squeeze harder. Hard. <laughs> Yuppie! <laughs> Come here! Dude, I haven't had bad shit. What's he doing? I didn't get a new one. I have one day left in pre-workout, no protein. The cutest puppy. Hey guys, it's Ariel. I'm coming to you from Abilene in my sister's room. So it's a different background. But I'm here celebrating her birthday and it was super fun and I'm glad I got to see all of my friends and family because I missed some bunches. And um, my makeup's kind of all crazy now because it's been a long day. And um, i got like a baby breakout. But I mean, I'm a person. I'm real. This is real. Um, but tonight I'm going to be recording a Get Unready With Me video. Um, it's kind of just my skincare routine. I'm going to go ahead and tell you in advance that um, I have a little bit of combination skin. I have a lot of dry patches in this area, like around my nose and stuff like that, and kind of up in here in my forehead and in my brows and stuff like that. But other than that, like the rest of my skin is pretty moisturized. So, um... A lot of products that I do use are for dry skin just because I enjoy products that are very hydrating and I don't know I'm just obsessed with them like I just enjoy things that make me feel hydrated so I tend to use things that help with dry skin even though I'm not really just a dry skin type. I'm going to list all the products that I use tonight down below and if you have any questions on the products that I use or how I use them just let me know and again I want to thank all of you for watching our videos and subscribing and sharing and liking and we're having so much fun recording them and I love all of you so I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or concerns no I'm just kidding but really if you have any questions or if you just want to watch the video that's cool like, that's cool just do that I'm sorry that this is shaking so much. I'm recording from my laptop, so yeah. But I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. So the first thing I'm going to be using is the Pond's Evening Soothe Cleansing Towelettes. I feel like the Evening Soothe is the best smelling one that Pond's makes. It's just my favorite. It's my go-to face wipe. I usually just use this to get like the first layer of dirt and makeup and everything that my face has seen for the day. I feel like it doesn't pick up everything, but it kind of just helps me get started on washing my face, like my cleaning routine. I've tried a few different face wipes before, but for some reason, I just don't feel like they do anything for me. Like, they don't pick up anything, or they just don't feel right. So, I would highly recommend that you try the Pond's Cleansing Wipes if you haven't before, and let me know how you feel about them. Gross. That's disgusting. Next is 9 to 5 by Lush. It's a cleansing lotion. It just picks up like basically everything. Like I'm just obsessed with this. It, I think that I get everything, but then after I put this on and go in and take it off, like it's, it's insane how much makeup I still have on my face. I forgot my exfoliating pad, so I'm using toilet paper. I mean, that's cool. Do what you gotta do. If you've never heard of Lush, I really really recommend that you go check their website out. It's super awesome. It's all organic. Yeah, I always just feel like a kid in a candy store anytime I go to their website. It's just fun. I think you should check it out. I'm dancing and dancing some more. This is, this is me. Yeah, beautiful. I don't know. So next we're moving on to my Clarisonic Mia 2, which is super amazing. It's just used for exfoliating. I plan on doing a full review, so I'm going to give you guys some more info later on. But, yeah, it's just awesome. 
I use the deep pore daily cleanser just because I feel like it gets everything and it makes my pores feel amazing. So first, uh, how that's funny. First up, you wet the Mia, and then you go in and put your product on. I just put a small amount. I feel like it goes a long way. And then you're going to wet your face. You're going to dance a little. No, I'm just kidding. And then the cool thing about the Mia is that it basically does everything for you. You just have to move it around your face. I think that you do like your T-zone first and then like each cheek. I don't know. I kind of just go for whatever I feel needs to be exfoliated for the day. But like I said, I'm going to go into a little more detail later on and make a completely different video about the Mia too. So I hope you guys are super excited. So the cool thing about the Mia is that once you've finished exfoliating, it just shuts off. It basically tells you when you're done exfoliating so you don't over exfoliate. So then you're going to rinse and then pat dry your face and it feels amazing. So next, you guys know I'm all obsessed with Mario Badescu products. I just can't help it. But I'm just using my cucumber lotion and I'm going in and patting it all over so that way my pores will be tight and I don't get anything in it after I've gone and exfoliated and it just smells super, super amazing. Sorry guys, I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. Next, we're moving on to Glam Glow Thirsty Mud. It's a moisturizer, but it's more than a moisturizer. I don't really know how to explain this. I don't even really know where to begin with this product. Um, I just know that it's very hydrating, so if you do have dry skin, I recommend this. If you have tried everything and you're just fed up, I suggest going to this product. It smells freaking amazing. It smells like coconuts and cream. And a lot of people are off standish because of the price, but I've had this one for about four or five months now, and it's still basically full. Like, it's like a heavy product, so when you put it on, you know where it's going, so you don't just keep using too much, I guess. And it's just really hydrating. Like, every time, like I said, I only use it like three or four times a week just because I don't exfoliate every day. But anytime I use it, like I wake up the next morning and I'm just like, oh my gosh, my skin feels and looks amazing. Like, just like new skin. I don't know. I'm just obsessed. I think that you guys should go out and try it and tell me if you feel the same way. So this is the last step in my nightly skincare routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. And again, if you have any questions about anything I used, please let me know. And I thank you guys so much for sharing and subscribing. And if you haven't already, please do. And I love you, and I'll see you later. Bye.